How's it going everybody? Cub Van here, and welcome to episode 127 of Cub Van's Minecraft Let's Play. And today guys, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we've been working on uh, some some bigger projects uh, the last few episodes. We got the what I'm now calling the harp up there, high altitude reconnaissance plane from last episode. But this episode we're going to be doing something just for fun. Um, <laughs> it's just something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, ever since the slime blocks came out. Uh, so we're going to be making what's called or what I'm calling a beaconator and for that we actually need a beacon um, as part of the build we'll also use some slime blocks and some redstone right now I currently have two wither skeleton skulls and I recently enchanted this sword so we got sharpness three looting two on it um, so we're gonna go to the nether and hunt down some wither skeletons first and then we'll go ahead and get started on this build so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back all right, so we're in the nether. We're going to head upwards here to slay the wither up here easily in our little chamber we have up here. Hopefully this hasn't been patched out yet, but we'll take a look and see. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and use that. There we are. Let's dig right in here and put some light in here, I guess. Should help out. Okay. Let's get up here. And yeah, up here, the way I typically do defeat the wither is by using the pushing him into bedrock trick. Like I said, I'm not sure if that still works or not, but we're about to find out. If it doesn't, we might be in trouble. Maybe not. Got some decent armor. But here we go. Oh. <laughs> or not. Try that again here. There we are. Push him up there. Block. Got the achievement there. Nice. Yep, still works. Sweet. Uh, some people consider that cheating, but I really don't. And I've fought the wither other ways too. Underground and the overworld. Um, this way and I think one other way. Forget how that how that went though. But uh, yeah, got the nether star now, so we can make our beacon. Alright everybody, so I got my beacon here as you can see in my hand. And we're actually out here on the first stop on the zombie rail line. Um, this is out close to where our secondary base is in this mountain. And I think this has a lot of potential, so, um, with the new slime blocks and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do some work here off screen. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and place our sort of animal gulag thing um, right over in this area. So it's kind of like remote, desolate, hot. Just a bad place for the animals to be, really. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and make a, like a little pen here. Um, I want to make sure this is aligned here, so... Let's see, put it, put it about here or so. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clear out some sand here, clear a space and put a pen down, and then we'll start to build this thing. Okay everyone, as you can see here, we got a nice little pen going, we got some cows, we got some pigs. Uh, those guys are going to stay in there for now. We also got some fence gates where we can bring them into the Beaconator here. So let's go ahead and we'll dig down one block here, and we're going to go ahead and place down our uh, sticky piston. And then we're going to dig out all around this, because we don't want these slime blocks here to stick to the sand blocks. And we're going to go ahead and place slime blocks on top like this, just around like that. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and use another brick fence around this part. So this will keep the animals in there. I'm going to leave one part open here. Uh, actually, we'll close it because I think we can, yeah, we can walk through there. Cool. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and do the 
something similar on this side. Not exactly the same, but we're going to make a smaller ring here. And we're going to go ahead and we'll place a piston down here. We'll place some a or a slime block right there. And we'll go ahead and put obsidian around this. So what we want to do is we want to do something like this and that. Just like that. Perfect. Alright. Next up what we're going to do is we're going to place a dispenser facing inward right here. Not That's not inward. That's upward. Right there. And this is what's going to be uh, the firing our TNT. So that's what we want there. Now here I'm going to place another obsidian behind here and then I'm gonna go ahead and go out one and then one more right here and we're gonna go ahead and place where's that gold block at there it is a gold block right there this is gonna be our firing mechanism and I'm gonna put this button right on top like that perfect that's going to be what's going to fire this whole thing. So now, uh, all we have to do, let me get some sand to fill in this. All we have to do is do the timings and also um, the beacon itself, which is going to, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a cool effect, I'll show you. But it basically looks like it locates where the animals are at and then shoots them out of the sky. So, yeah, let's go ahead and dig down here. Uh, we'll have to split up this signal into a couple different parts, but I think we can manage here. Just got to be careful of this sand and whatnot. And I'm actually going to get some solid blocks here, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so here's what we got so far. We got the dispenser wired up here. Uh, just comes from this block underneath and around. There you go, you heard it. Uh, tick right there and so now what we got to do is we got to wire up um, this sticky piston and the one underneath the whoops uh, underneath this 2x3 area right there so uh, we're gonna drop down here and do that so I'm gonna have it drop down here uh, we'll have it go this way for the beacon eventually and then we'll have it go this way for uh, the timings up here so what we're going to do is we're just going to run this around like this, just like so. And let's see, we'll have it come around this way and then to the back. That should be good. We may need to go over one more here though. So I'll dig this out here. There we go. Alright, so we'll need a bunch of repeaters for this. Um, so let's go ahead and come over this way, this way, and then get out these repeaters. And so we're going to do three on the full delay there. And then, let's see here, we'll do something like this. Do three more on full delay. So that's 24 ticks of delay right there. We'll go ahead and hook these up with some redstone. And then the difference between this piston and this piston um, should be about eight ticks of delay. So we're going to put this one on two and we'll put this one on ten ticks. And then we'll just connect everything up with redstone here. Just like that. So that should be those pistons wired up. Now on this side uh, we're actually going to be going, whoop, a little bit of a lag spike there, going right underneath of this piston, and this is where we'll place our beacon. So let me just go ahead and get down here and do that real quickly. Um, so, I'm actually going to go down one more block here. Alright, there we are. And then we should be able to fit most of this right underneath here like this and then let's see that one has nothing on it so we should be able to get to that block that had redstone yep right here okay good 
deal. I'm just going to clear out an area down here. Okay, everyone, so I cleared out a little bit of space down below here. So from this point where the redstone uh, branched off, uh, we're going to come down one here, obviously. And then we'll have another piece of redstone dust right there. Then we'll take a repeater, put it on four ticks delay right there. That'll lead into a block with a torch on the side. Then we'll have some redstone here and a block right there with redstone dust on it. So we're going to make a small uh, pistonless hopper timer. This is actually an incredibly useful invention. If you guys don't know this design, I definitely recommend it. Um, so you put two hoppers like that facing into each other. And then you'll need a comparator facing out of this first hopper back to the first block here. Then you'll need a piece of dust there and a redstone repeater facing into this hopper here. And then a comparator facing out of the second hopper here with a, um, yeah, a uh, repeater on the end there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run this redstone line all the way along the outside here. And this will reach to there where we're going to place down a sticky piston and a iron block will go right in front of it with a one block gap there. And then we're going to go ahead and place our beacon right here which is directly underneath the piston and the slime block. And since pistons and slime blocks are both transparent blocks we should see this beacon go up there all right sweet there we go yep so this is going to be like our laser beam so to speak <laughs> um so yeah basically the idea is that this laser beam will activate whenever a pig or a cow reaches its maximum height and then boom blasted to bits by the laser beam uh when in actuality it's going to be tnt but we can pretend it's a laser beam it seems more fun that way to me, at least. Uh, so, yeah, I think this is pretty much ready to go. Uh, I got everything wired up here. I'm just going to give it a... Actually, I'm just going to do this real quick. See if I can get... Yeah, we can't get over there, actually. Yeah, we can't get over there. Well, let's go this way. Yeah. So I'm just going to power this... This piston here, and this beacon should go off after a second or two. Yep, there you go. And then when you give it power, it takes it a second or two, but it usually pops on pretty quickly. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time to update. Okay, so we got everything wired up. Let's go ahead and do a test run here. So what should happen is the dispenser should fire. There's nothing in there right now. Let's just put, say, sand in there for right, right now. Uh, then this block, this slime block should extend, and then these slime blocks here should extend. So let's see if that happens. Dispenser fires. This one should extend, and that one should... Okay, this one did not extend for some reason. Uh, let's go ahead and go down and see why. And that's why right there. So it was sticking to that sandstone block, so we'll go ahead and put obsidian down there. That should... Let me make sure. Yep. That should work. I'm just going to go ahead and place obsidian there just in case. Alright, that should work. Good thing we tested that first. Let's try it one more time. Otherwise, you know, if we had put TNT in there, it would have blown all this to bits and all the redstone to bits. Let's try it again. This one. That one. Okay. That one looked better. I'm just going to double check my timings down here. Everything's looking pretty good. I think we are ready to cover this all up and test it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll give it a shot. Oh, and I almost forgot. I always forget this. Uh, we need to put six items in this hopper. So that will give us a signal just long enough to ignite this beacon. And then it will go away relatively quickly. So don't forget that. And I'm going to go ahead and cover this up now. And we'll see how it looks. Alright everyone, so I think we got everything we need here now. Um, I went ahead and swapped out the fence around here for another brick fence. And I made sort of like a two-tiered uh, design for the loading mechanism. Um, so that way we can have um, individual uh, mobs loaded or multiple mobs loaded. 
And once they get into here, they can sort of randomly wander into there. Um, so yeah, we can get through this gap here, but mobs can't. Uh, right now we have this little piggy in here. He's going to be our test subject. So let me get... Oh, I already got the TNT. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place only one TNT in there right now. Make sure that's facing out. I think we are good to go now. Alright, so here we go. Testing it out. So again, what should happen? TNT should be shot up. Then, after a brief delay, this pig will be shot up. And they should meet in the middle. And the pig will be obliterated. While being shot by the beacon from below. So, here we go. Three, two, one. No turning back. Alright, TNT's up. Pig's up. Boom! Alright, there we go. And there's the, uh, the beam there. Nice. Alright, actually I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see if we can get... Yeah, I'm going to swap out these for stone pressure plates. But yeah, that worked pretty well. Let's see if we can get a, a cow or something in here. Just one. Just one. Come on, cow. Oh, oh, no. Oh, don't want to open the floodgates here. Get in there. Nope, you... Okay, that's enough. Alright, this cow should be going into here. Let's see if we can get him to come in this way. Come on, cow. Get in there. Go on. Go on. There you go. Okay, now he's trapped in there. Good deal. Alright, let's try it again with the cow. Let's put in one more piece of TNT there. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one... Alright, laser, there it is, locate the cow, and then kaboom, yes, alright. That is working beautifully. Very nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's try and do multiple mobs here. Let's see if we can get a bunch of cows in here. Come on, cows, follow me in, follow me in. There we go, there we go, everybody in, everybody in, come on now. Alright, let's try and get out, and we'll... Push them in the rest of the way. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on, cow. There we go. Okay. All right. Try it once more. I'm going to go ahead and put the whole stack in there. All right. And the button got blown off. So let's... Let's make a new button here. Let's get a uh, get a wood button. Let's say. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ignition. Boom. There's the beam. Boom. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yep. And no damage to any of the blocks around here. So I'd say that's working definitely. And yeah, we got all the all the drops and everything. So yeah, good deal. The only thing I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change these to stone pressure plates. Close those. And yeah, I think that's the uh, the beaconator done. So yeah, we can obliterate pigs and cows now whenever we feel like it. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna breed up some more of these guys here. But uh, yeah, that's that's. Basically it for me today, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and head down to the mine shaft now, and we'll see if today's highlight channel is. Okay, you know what? Just one more, just for the heck of it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ignition sequence started. Firing laser. Boom. Sit down. Alrighty, once again down here in the mine shaft now. Time for today's highlighted channel, and today's highlighted channel is Kevin Patel. So, Kevin, last time, uh, last episode, he suggested that we make a trophy room for creeper heads and skeleton heads, and I thought that was a fantastic idea. Um, if you don't know, creeper heads and skeleton heads are coming, or they're actually already in the game now, um, as of 14W30C, and so uh, you have to use a charged creeper to basically get those heads to drop. Um, you can also get zombie heads to drop. Um, and obviously wither skeleton skulls as well. But yeah, that's actually a really good idea, Kevin. Uh, I will definitely do that uh, once we get some charged creepers uh, somehow. But uh, yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead and dig out your mine shaft, and we'll see how you do against the other competitors. Creepy sound of music. Okay, so I got uh, Kevin Patel's mine shaft dug out, and we got the following resources. Are you ready? Kabam! Holy smokes. We got 31 diamonds from this one mine shaft. That is a lot of diamonds. Uh, we also got a ton of redstone, a lot of iron, uh, some lapis, some coal, and some gold. So a little bit of everything. Um, the total points for this mine shaft come to 6,033. Um, so I already know that's going to be number one on the points leaderboard. Uh, let's see if 31 is the top on the diamond leaderboard. So as I said before, Kevin Patel coming in first place by a large margin. Uh, more than 2,000 points ahead of the next nearest competitor on the points leaderboard. And he actually knocked Notch himself off of the Fortune 3 Diamond leaderboard. So, very impressive mineshaft. 31 diamonds, I think, is the most I've gotten from any mineshaft in any season. So, yeah, extremely happy about that. Um, that's a lot of diamonds from one mineshaft. Um, for those of you who don't know, each mineshaft is 3 blocks tall and 150 blocks long. And all the diamonds are mined out with... Uh, this pick here, this Fortune 3 pick. Um, so yeah, 31 is quite a bit for one mine shaft. Uh, let's go ahead and head back up to the surface now. I want to highlight today's uh, fan art, and that was sent to me by Shadow Miner. So just picture of myself with an iron golem and a potion. Very neat. We got some chickens exploding out of the chicken farm for some reason. I think that's just a graphical glitch mainly. I did go ahead and refill this a little bit. Uh, yeah, this pretty much breaks in every version of Minecraft, so I'm not really too surprised that that's happening. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you have any other <laughs> sort of crazy ideas like the Beaconator, um, do not hesitate to let me know in the comments, and I can try to make them happen um, if uh, if they're possible and if uh, it fits with the world. Just get rid of some of these zombies. Pretty heavily armored zombies here. Dang it, zombie. There we go. Got it. Also got a nice chest plate. Cool. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be all for me today, guys. Also want to say thank you very much for 50,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, here's to uh, the next 50,000. So thank you all for watching, guys. This has been Cup Fan. Goodbye. Okay, you know what? Just one more, just the heck of it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ignition sequence started. Firing laser. Boom. Sit down.